Guys, what is going on? Welcome to this episode of Jag Fishing. Now recently you guys have seen me slaying the walleye, slaying the bass. And today guys, I'm actually gonna attempt to catch my first trout of the year. I know it's June 1st, I still haven't caught one. I've just been so happy with the walleye fishing earlier on in the spring that I was occupied with that. But we are here today guys, we're gonna see if we can catch a couple. There's decent sized brownies around here. And I'd like to catch two, maybe three, but you know what, I'll settle for one if that's what it's gonna take. And then we're gonna go home and take this bad boy and cook him up. All right guys, so I actually started the day off by throwing around a spinner for about half an hour with zero success, but I do see a bunch of trout just swimming around and coming up to the surface. I do not have a fly rod, but I have my other ultralight setup. So with this, I have a bobber split shot, small hook, and I actually got some wax worms right here. Sorry, meal worms right here. So I'm gonna put one of these on and see if that is gonna help us with any success. So let's go, let's see what happens. So as for my bait, I'm gonna be using the mealworms and the size hook I got, I know a lot of people like to use smaller hooks when it comes to trout, but since I wanna play a little bit with them and I'm only gonna catch or keep rather one or two, what I like to use is a size six hook. And the reason for that is simply because it's a bigger hook, they're less likely to swallow it, and I'm gonna be setting my hook a lot quicker than usual. So I'm just trying to play it safe, guys. We're gonna just go ahead and throw this out. We're just gonna give it just about a foot under the surface. You know, I was gonna adjust it, but that's actually real good right there. And what we're gonna do is if you guys see that spot, that shaded area um, in front of me right there, I don't know if the camera can pick it up or not. Um, that's a pretty good hole and that's where the trout keep jumping up. So we're gonna just throw this thing in there and see what happens. Oh, there we go. There we go, fish on guys, fish on. Yeah, we got one. We got one, first cast on the mealworm. Oh yeah, oh yeah, that's a trout. That's nice. Yeah, this is awesome, guys. Yeah. What do we got here, what do we got here? Oh yeah, that's a decent sized trout, so that's a little brownie, I believe it to be. Okay, we're gonna bring him up here. Ah, come on, buddy. Come on, come on, come on. There we go, there we go. <sighs> That's what I'm talking about, guys. There it is, guys. There's our first fish of the day. It's a beautiful little brown trout, probably about 12 inches or so. It's a nice guy. And actually, he's got a line coming out of his mouth. So he actually swallowed a hug before. So guys, if you guys are fishing for fish like trout, especially, please, let's be cautious and let's make sure that if we do catch and release, let's just do it a safe way. Let's make sure we get these guys back in the water. But in this case, I'm actually gonna be keeping, if I can get two fish, I'll keep two fish. So I'm gonna be keeping this one and let's see if we can get some more fish. But I mean, guys, look at this fish. What a beautiful specimen right here. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous fish. Unfortunately, we have a little mishap that just happened. Um, when I was fishing using the float setup, I actually lost my float because I got caught up on a snag. So I don't have another one with me. So there's no way I'm gonna be able to cast out all the way over there on the tackle I have. So my only other option right now is we're gonna go back to the spinner and we're just gonna try to see if we can catch anything on the spinner. If that doesn't work, we might be down for only one fish in the video. Let's see what happens. So unfortunately, after losing my bobber, my float, whatever you guys want to call it, um, I've had no luck. I tried many different ways to be able to even get a hit and it was just not working. I could not get on another fish. I tried for about an hour with no luck whatsoever. So I guess we're gonna call it a day at this point. But guys, we do have our one fish and we are gonna take it home and we are gonna cook that bad boy up. And well, I'm taking you guys along for the taste test. So. Let's go, let's see what happens, and I hope you guys enjoy this. All right guys, so welcome to Jag's Kitchen. Now, when I said we're gonna keep this thing simple, we are gonna keep this thing simple. All I'm gonna be using today is, I've got a little bit of black pepper, Everglades heat, 
Italian style breadcrumbs, which they already come seasoned, as you guys can tell right here, and just a little bit of flour. So I'm really quickly going to show you guys what I'm going to do. I told you guys I'm going to keep this simple, and that's exactly my intention. So we're not going to waste any time. We're going to get right to this. All right, so first thing is first, I'm going to use some of this flour, and I'm just going to take just a little bit of it here and throw it right onto this plate. Second thing I'm going to be using, guys, is this Italian-style seasoned breadcrumbs. And same thing, just going to throw it on this plate, just mix it up a little bit. We're just do, going to do a little coating over here, not too much because we only have the two little fillets that we got off of that trout. The third thing, guys, that we're going to use is the Everglades Heat. Now, my buddy Darren's Northern Life introduced me to this. Um, he got some from Rocco from Passion for Hunting and Fishing YouTube channel. This is really good stuff. Now, I'm not going to go too crazy on this because I did say I want to keep it simple. So, I really, I'm just going to cover the top just a little bit. All it's going to do is just give us a little bit extra flavor and kick. And last but not least, we are going to go with some of this black pepper over here. And we're just going to sprinkle just a little bit over the top. Here's that first fillet. And guys, will you just take a look at this meat? I mean, it is absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. That's how you know it's a good fish. Now, all I'm going to do is I'm going to just throw it in here. Make sure it's coated really nice and evenly. Just like that. I'm actually going to pick some of these up and just really throw it in there. I probably should have put a little bit more, but again, we only have two fillets, so we're not going to go too crazy on it. It's all we're doing, just giving it a nice little coating. You guys can see some of the meat is still showing, but that's completely fine. There we go. So we got one ready. We're just going to toss it to the side over here, and we're going to take our second fillet. Put it right on there now i know usually a lot of people use batter but i mean if i i really said i want to keep it simple i want to keep it simple this is as simple as it's going to get all right guys there you go this is what it looks like it's all ready to go we're going to take these bad boys outside and start cooking we're actually going to toss them in this pan right over here it's been sizzling it's a little bit of oil about um a third of it is oil the rest is butter so this is a good mixture right here and what we're gonna do is we're just gonna throw these things in and watch them sizzle, baby, let's go. So we're just gonna go ahead and throw this first filet on here. Oh yeah, look at that, perfect, perfect. Now we're gonna take the other one right next to it. And there we go, guys. So while these things are cooking up, I just wanna take a moment to say thank you guys for watching this video so far. I really do appreciate it. If you guys like it and you wanna see more Catch and Cooks, just let me know in the comment below and that would be greatly appreciated. But guys, let's take a look at these uh, fillets. Let's see how they're doing. And yeah, I'm, I'm getting hungry already. I'm sure the kids are as well. There you go, that's what they look like. They're already turning a nice little golden color on the sides. I say it's probably gonna take about another minute or two on this side, probably flip them and another four or five minutes on the other side. And we're gonna be eating good. So that's cooking up some trout. I know you guys love trout. And today we're keeping it really simple. We're just frying that up. You guys excited or what? Yeah! What's your guys' favorite fish to you? I know you guys like walleye. I like walleye. My most favorite is pretty much rainbow trout, but I like that too. Yeah, this is a brown trout, so I think personally brown trout are better. Matter of fact, guys, leave the, leave me down in the comment down below. Let me know if you guys prefer rainbow trout, brown trout, or it doesn't matter to you. Just out of curiosity, because to me, I just feel a brownie tastes so much better. Don't know why, but it really does. So, all right, let's take a look at these fish. Let's flip them over, and uh, hopefully soon we'll be eating. Don't forget, get a thumbs up if you like this video. All right, guys, we're going to give these guys a quick flip and let's see how they look. Oh, yeah, that's what I'm talking about right there, guys. Look at that. That is beautiful. That is exactly what I'm looking for. That is exactly what I'm looking for. We're going to take this other one, flip it over. That's what I'm talking about. I just want you to quickly take a moment to appreciate this golden brown color on these fillets right now. I mean, that is just absolute perfection right there. I cannot wait to get a taste. At this point, it's been about eight minutes that these guys have been in there, and they look perfect. So I'm going to take them out right now, and we're going to taste them. Let's see how it is. I'm excited. Woo! Just appreciate this golden, beautiful brown color right here. It is crispy on the outside, and I guarantee you it's perfect on the inside. All right, guys, we finally got the fish off the pan and onto the plate. It is looking great. It is looking amazing. Well, you know, guys, there's two fillets. 
So there's two of you. Is it okay if Daddy has the first bite? Yeah. I, I just want a little bit. Want to try it? You guys can eat the rest. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thanks, guys. All right, let's try this thing and let's see how it is. First bite of the trout, and wow, it is just cooked thoroughly, perfectly. I don't know if you guys can tell if the camera will focus or not, but the meat is just perfectly, perfectly cooked through. Let's see. Mmm. Mmm. That's good. It is? That is absolutely good stuff. All right, guys, that was actually really good. I put minimal effort into making this. Oh, God bless you. I put minimal effort into this. I put very basic seasoning, and I can really taste the fish itself, and it tastes absolutely amazing. So I'm going to have my other bite. Now I'm going to let the kids try it. So there you guys go. Here's a nice little chunk. Buddy, here's one for... Okay, Aria, that's for you. <laughs> Buddy, this one's for you. Let me know what you guys think. Go ahead. Oh, that's actually really good. I like it better than you both. <laughs> it's so good. It's what do you think, honey? Is that good? I like it yeah. better than you both. Alright guys, there we go. The kids approve. I like it. This is really, really good tasting fish. And I just think it's really amazing. I really want to put hot sauce on this because I love hot sauce on fish. <laughs> she doesn't. He does. But the fish actually does taste so good in its own natural flavors that I'm not going to ruin it with that. So I'm actually going to go ahead and enjoy this fish the way it is. And I want to say, guys, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. If you guys like this video, please consider giving me a thumbs up. Leave in the comment down below. Let me know if you guys want to see more catch and cooks, how you want to see them done. If you want to see me try different ways of doing it. I don't know. I don't care. You let me know and I'll get it done. And if you guys haven't already, please make sure you hit that big red beautiful button down there that says subscribe. And until next time, guys. Tight lines. They already know the deal. See ya.